Hey, it's your girl Kuki Kiani. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, hey, thanks for coming back. Okay. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe so you can see your girl all the time. <laughs> or whatever. Um, but anyways, this is just going to be a continuance of my last video, which I don't even remember what I named it. But basically, y'all, this is just my life story. And at this point, um, well, this is just like my childhood or the biggest, craziest parts or whatever. So basically, I told y'all that my um, mom and them had came from Tennessee and we all moved from living with my aunt and uncle to a house um, a couple of blocks from there. Or, yeah, it was a little distance from there, but not too far, whatever. And then we all were living together. Some of my brothers came and stuff. And everything was fine for a little bit, I guess. I remember at some point, we didn't have no food or nothing, like, we was basically starving in this house, y'all. Like, starving. Making crazy, crazy-ass concoctions for meals. Like, I'll tell y'all, like, I have a, a, a very, very, very strong memory of us eating grits. Like, grits with, like, sugar and stuff. And hot fries, okay? Grits and hot fries. Does that sound like a logical meal? Does that even sound appealing? No. But we had no choice. We didn't have no money or nothing. I think we were supposed to be getting food stamps, but they weren't coming in. It was hella kids. You know what I'm saying? We were starving, basically. And um, then my parents started working at a job that was like an hour and something away. They would they worked at like um, I don't know if it was like a temp like a temp job or something, but they would go to this building that was down the street from our house, and they would like catch a bus. Like, everybody that worked there rode on the bus for an hour till they got to the factory or whatever. But then, um, after a while, there started being issues because supposedly my dad was cheating on my mom with this woman who worked at the job. You know, at the time it was supposedly. Um, so then, there started being issues there and then my mom stopped working there, okay? Then my dad would be at work and stuff, and my mom actually started cheating on him with some man, okay? And I'll tell y'all the man's real name because who cares? Anyways, his name is Joseph, okay? So she started dating this man, and he's freaking crazy, crazy, okay? And um, my dad would be at work. We lived in this house, y'all. It was kind of, it was like, it was a duplex, I would say kind of like a duplex, but we lived in the whole house. And there was a separation. There was a door that separated the upstairs from downstairs that could lock, okay? So when my dad was at work, my mom would lock us upstairs sometimes, and she would have this crazy-ass man in her house, okay? And this was going on for a little while. Then one day, she gets caught, okay? She gets caught with this freaking man in the house. All hell breaks loose because I already told you that my dad is abusive and he's freaking evil. So, of course, they fighting and everything. It's crazy. Then she runs away with the man, okay? She runs away with him and she just abandons, abandons the house and the family, basically, runs away with this man. Then, um, while she's gone, my dad packs us all up. And we move. Like, we move to the other side of town without her, like, was gone. Okay. And we were gone for um, a few months. We were just living life, going to school. And then our house was nice. I loved the house that we used to live in. But anyways, everything was fine. Then, a little bit... I'll say right around my birthday again, she came back. Because I remember my birthday, I remember my birthday, I had a luau. And she ended up coming to my birthday. 
or maybe it was right after my birthday. I don't know, somewhere around the time she had ended up coming back to our new house and stuff. And then, y'all know my birthday's in the end of April, so it, everything was fine for like two months, okay? Then it started getting crazy again, like psycho crazy, okay? So then basically, as soon as the summer, like I was in third grade then, y'all, like literally at the summer like soon as third grade ended my um i don't know my house was always like the party house i told you i got a lot of brothers so they always had people over my dad always was trying to kick it and party and stuff too so people were always over my house and um i was asleep but i don't know what happened all i remember is us waking up and stuff and the police coming there, my dad getting arrested, and then me, my mom, my younger sister, and my brother all went with the police. Um, and basically, we were going to a battered women's shelter. And um, my older sister, who is my mom's kid, she she was supposed to come with us too because of course she's not my dad kid and she wasn't grown at the time either but she didn't want to come so she had got left at my house but then basically like she was going to either go to juvie or come with us so she ended up like getting brought to us or whatever it was freaking crazy then um then we started living in a battered women's shelter like we lived there for like like two months i say because it was the beginning of the summer uh yeah we lived there for like two months in the beginning of the summer we had like moved there and it was terrible i remember it being the summer and us having a bedtime at 9 p.m who is going to bed at nine o'clock in the summer why I remember there was like cleaning schedules and stuff for the moms and like certain nights they had to um, cook dinner and stuff. I remember like um, TV shows and stuff being censored and we couldn't watch certain stuff and we couldn't be up late. We had to be inside of our room and all of us, me, my mom, my little sister, my older sister, my little brother, all of us shared one room at this place, one room literally i think we had i think my sister slept in the baby bed i'm pretty sure there was a bunk bed too but i can't even remember it like all of it but i remember being there for sure like it was crazy and then i told y'all that my mom um that that crazy man the crazy man no she was not done dating that man either because when we was living in the house, when we was living in the better women's shelter, she would be going, taking us to go see that man. We would be like over that man's sister's house and stuff. And she would be lying to the better women's shelter and stuff. Like nuts. And then of course she is crazy and she had her own mental issues and stuff and she's an alcoholic she self-medicates and stuff so she got tired of being there because you can't really drink or anything there either because this is a safe space for battered women and their children so that didn't last too long either and um she ended up getting an apartment um we all got an apartment on the other side of town like by the lake which was nice like living there i had some good times too but um yeah we moved out of the battered women's shelter and to an apartment at the lake okay <sighs> all right that that's gonna be the end of this story for right now okay i'll come back and tell y'all like some stuff that happens later i don't want to make these too long and i already told y'all that i haven't been editing them 
because it seems like if I have to edit it, it never gets posted. Like, <laughs> I don't know why. But anyways, I love you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. My face is itchy. Oh yeah, not even mention my hair. Look at my hair, y'all. It's long. I straightened it and I was confused. Because it really needs to be cut. I need to stop wearing it. Um, and my two jailhouse braids, it's all broken off around the edges. And like down the middle. But like, it's long. Whatever. But, um, bye y'all. I'll see y'all later. <laughs>